Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and it was a pretty chilly night last night. We got down to like 23 degrees, Central Florida. Reminds me of when I was a kid, it used to get cold like that all the time here. I have a forced air heater if you live out in the country like we do, where people don't really care what you put on your roof. This is the simplest, cheapest thing you could probably do, and it's the best one I've ever tested. I just whipped this together in about five minutes. You can make it as big as you want. Now, if you live in an area or a neighborhood where people are concerned about how your roof looks and what you put on the roof and you've got all those restrictions, there's other forced air heaters out there that um, are have more of a profile to them. They look better. The thing about forced air heaters is you don't have to keep them up year round. It doesn't make sense to keep a black object on your roof in the summertime because it's just adding extra heat to your surroundings. So unless you're heating water with it simultaneously, not a good idea to have during the summertime. So this forced air heater, you can install in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It's like a good emergency survivalist forced air heater. 100% solar, no electricity, nothing at all. Cost, depends on the size of your house. This one right here that I'm gonna show you. The panel, take the panel out of the cost of the price. Just the small motor, $20, $30, let's say 30 bucks. The black material that I'm gonna show you, three dollars a section three dollars a section so ten foot sections you want to go a thousand feet you can do it you want to get multiple things you want to spend 500 bucks you could heat a house the you could heat a mansion for 500 bucks with this so we're gonna go take a look at it so this is how cold it is in the shade and if we come out in the Sun it starts to warm up it's about 48 degrees out in the sun. Some poly tube drainage hose. This stuff costs about three bucks a section. It's really inexpensive. You can buy it in 100 foot rolls or 50 foot rolls. You put this in place. The reason that I say this is for a quick temporary or survivalist thing, this particular material is relatively inert. As long as it doesn't get above 140 degrees, it doesn't really have any problems. So as long as you have air running through it, you're not gonna be leaching any of the chemicals out of it, so it's a good temporary fix. If you, like Florida has a few cold nights a year, you don't necessarily wanna have a giant forced air heater on your roof year round, doesn't make sense. I have some small, where are they at? Some small 12 volt batteries. Of course you need sun. This is a beautiful clear day. We're just gonna get a temperature difference from this end to this end. I've had this stuff for years. This stuff's going on probably nine years I had this and uh, it's been in the sun. The nice thing about these, these pieces, look at this, look at these connectors. You can get this at Lowe's by the way or Home Depot, whatever you choose, but these pieces just snap together like that and then you can tape them up um, really cool and they have the ridges so the ridges make them flexible but the ridges also give you added surface area the reason that I like this is that this fan happens to fit perfectly in there you really don't need to do anything to it those uh, bilge the four inch bilge fans fit perfectly in there so we're set all the way down to there 30 foot nine dollars of hose we're gonna go to the other side and get some air flows we're gonna do this in Fahrenheit. Now the amount of heat that comes out of here is gonna be a little deceiving because this is very high volume. That is nice air, by the way. That is really nice air. So we peaked out at around 80 degrees. And now that it's running for a while and it's pulling the heat off, we're dropping back down to 74 degrees, 73. So we went from 50, 49 degrees. And it looks like it's bouncing around 65. This is a stable degree here. Keep in mind, this is moving a lot of air. So this adds 14 degrees 
that's where it st stabilizes. Okay, so right now this fan is running totally off the solar panel. This is an 80 watt panel. So that's totally sunlight, panel, high volume fan, leaf mulcher. I wouldn't put anything other than these two there. But. So now what we have is something that appears to be useless because it goes into a giant circle and comes back around. I had this running for about five minutes. I'm going to show you circulated air. See what our thermometer's at. And I'm going to stick this in there and hopefully we can... So what I'm going to show you is the maximum temperature that we got with this. I got it on the hold feature. So by circulating the air, we got to 97 degrees. That is a full 47 degree increase. So I'm going to pop one end and feel this air coming out of there. That is hot air. And a lot of volume too. The idea is to have green heat. This is green heat. This is gonna, this, uh, I'll have to do some calculations on the cubic feet to the air volume rise to the BTUs that this has. You can imagine if you had $3, $3, $3, there's $9. So let's say you spent 90 bucks. Where would you be? You'd be way out to there somewhere, all the way around, wrapped in a circle on your roof. Or you could do three or four air vents. If you have a big house, put them in different places. You'd heat your house up right away. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Oh, and yeah, this will run three or four of those. No problem. 100-watt panel. Really good panel, actually. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching, and enjoy our videos.